Hello and welcome to the CB Scientific Channel. Optimum Reaction here today to discuss with you the CBD detection kit from CB Scientific. You can pick these bad boys up at test4cbd.com with three W's in the front. So let's talk about it. We just recently released a video discussing that there are four new detection kits that just came out. It's actually the next generation. They're more intense, they're better at detecting, and they're a lot safer than the previous ones, which were also very safe. So let's get into it a little bit. This video is gonna discuss the contents of this box, what's inside here. It's gonna talk about how we perform a successful detection. We're also gonna talk about how an unsuccessful detection works and also what not to do with some of the ingredients. So let's get started. So obviously on the flaps here, you saw there's test for CBD. Um, this one here is the personal analytics test for CBD if the camera wants to focus. Uh, these flaps right here. Uh, Future World is the parent company. CB Scientific is a uh, uh, subsidiary. And just some information on the side here. I don't think the camera wants to focus that low. That's some tiny information, just some warning information. Um, so now we're going to flip her over like this because this is how we open the detection kit. It's very simple. We flip it and it oh, opens up into a beautiful detection kit. Right here we have three detection vials. We also have our solvent solution. So each detection kit you purchase, that is for the singles, you get three detections. For the doubles, these rows would be filled with the same vials. So now we'll get into this a little bit. You can pause this and read this at your own leisure. This is just some information about the instructions about the kits. Um, this talks about the you know how much to use for these detection kits which we'll talk about later in this video but for the intents and purposes of this video we really want to focus at the bottom here this is really important this is our detection scale so this will tell us if we have a positive or negative detection denoting the no color change which is the white to the color change which is the purple and the purple goes all the way to a very dark purple if not a black color so and that's very difficult to see because of the color saturation right now in the video. But if I shine some more light on it, you can see a little bit better. So now we're going to get into performing one of these detections. So what we do first is we take out one of these vials and we'll put that down. Luckily, I already have one of these bad boys open. So we're going to use a solvent bottle that is already open. So we'll take the vial and put it right aside. It just has some activation material inside for the solvent. And we'll take the solvent and open that up. We'll take the vial, we'll use that in a second, and we're going to put in some CBD. So this right here is a very low percentage of CBD e-juice. It's going to give us a light to moderate response on the color change scale. Um, and that's that's what we're going to use today because it has basically all drips on the table. It has uh, no THC inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, we're going to put it right inside, just a couple drops, blah, blah, blah. Some little blobs there, you need very little material. Uh, before we gave you a scale of how much material is actually needed, um, let me put that in there, fill it all the way up, just like that. And it takes on the color of the actual liquid itself. So we put on a scale of how much you needed before, I think it was 0 0.05 grams, and it's still on the actual uh, box itself. But it really depends on the material because you can use a lot or you can use a little and gives you uh, you know, positive or negative detection either way. Now we're going to go into while we wait for this because it real good detection takes about 10 minutes. Um, so we're just going to set this aside. We're going to go into some not so successful detections. The first thing we want to talk about is an over successful detection. So this is basically a black solution um, it is purple. It has a purplish hue to it. It is very hard to see because <laughs> obviously it is such a dark purple. Um, so this is a overly positive detection, which does show up on the scale. It just tests, it detects for a very high percentage of CBD. Um, now this one right here is an unsuccessful detection. This is a brownish color. It has a little purple to it, but it's, it's really more like a brown color. This is using material that has either trapped the CBD or changed the CBD molecule. Uh, also, if there's no CBD at all, it may turn into this color. Um, Let's see here, we have a very light reaction. This is if, if you use too too much, too light of material. It still is a purplish color. It's again more of a brownish color, but this still has a little tinge of purple on it. So this is a very light amount of material used. And here is just another example of a brown detection. This one here did not detect because the, the material was uh, trapped inside, the CBD was trapped inside the substance. 
And finally, we go back to the reaction that we just set aside, which is this one here. And it's turning a beautiful purple color, as you can see. This is a successful detection. It's hard to pick up by the camera, I do understand. Um, we're going to bring it back over here, and we're going to put it up to the scale here. Um, here we go. So, it is a light purplish color, again, just like I surmised. It's going to be about over here on the scale. Uh, sorry about the light, but it's going to be about right there. Um, that's what this color is picking up here. So that's a successful detection. It, we recommend a full 10 minutes to wait for a successful detection, but it can happen within minutes if the CBD is very viable to you know, pick up from the detection itself. So let's talk about some do's and don'ts. One thing you really don't want to do is leave this guy out in heat. You want to keep this about 72 degrees to 76 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Keep it room temperature. If you keep it too hot, the solvent material will evap well, not just evaporate, but also denature. So you cannot use it, it won't give you a successful detection. And that goes into I just mentioned before what I want to say next, which is the evaporation issue. You do not want to leave it sit just like this because it will evaporate out of the top. There is absolutely no chloroform inside this whatsoever, so it's not that kind of a detection. It is a safe detection to use. And that's basically about it. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, definitely contact us at info at test4cbd.com or info at cbscientific.com. That is the CBD detection kit in a nutshell. Uh, it's been excellent, guys. Thank you so much.